Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Saturday. Welcome back to Yield Weekly Home Fragrance Roundup, the video that goes up most Saturdays here on my channel where I just share all of the home fragrance that Alf and I were enjoying around the house over the course of the past week. If you're new here and you're wondering who Alf is, um, let me introduce you. Um, he's down here in my lap. Um, Alf is a pug. <laughs> So, um, but he's my bestie. Oh, oh, look, the lighting is improving for Alf. Perfect. Um, this is my bestie, and he is always uh, down to film a video alongside me. And he's cute, so I let him do it. But he does usually fall asleep, so you're going to hear some snoring, some snorts, you know, whatnot in the background. I always like to say, please enjoy that free pug ASMR. I feel like I am one of the few channels here on YouTube that provides this unique experience <laughs> of incorporating pug ASMR in their home fragrance content. But do let me know if there's anyone else, if there's competition out there for, for Alf's snores and snorts. Um, we always are, we are down to, you know, spy on our competition. <laughs> Kidding. Anyway, um, thanks for putting up with Alf's shenanigans. Um, he's a sweet boy and um, I love that you guys love him as well. So anyway, um, all right, before we get into it, usual, check out the description box, loads of links down there. Um, candle crock information, candle lamp information. Um, I am going to be adding my Candle Hurricane 101 video that I just recently redid um, into the description box as well. Um, if you have some questions about hurricanes, whether they're necessary, how to use them, how to wash them, where to buy them, where you can get the best ones, yada yada, um, check that video out. Um, where to buy all the candles that I'm talking about, discount codes. I do have a discount code with both. Um, homeworks and Kringle so feel free to you know apply that when you're checking out see if you can save yourself some extra money those are affiliate discount codes just so you are aware um, sale information for the companies that I tend to frequent uh, yeah just it's a plethora of information feel free to check that out um, before we get into what I was uh, burning melting what I finished this week wax melts things like that we're gonna go do the usual tour around the house to um, show you guys what I currently am burning right now and what I have under my lamps as well as in my candle crocks. So we're gonna go do that and then we'll pop back in here and we'll start talking about some of these other things. All right, so burning behind me during <laughs> The filming of this video today is the Bath and Body Works Bridgerton Collection Diamond of the Season. Such a lovely, beautiful, sophisticated fragrance, but I gotta say, insanely light. Is anybody else having a super light experience with this one? Like, it's crazy light for me. Like, the strength and throw right now, I would, I feel like I would be generous in saying that it's like, a three. Did I get a dud? I really hope this is not a dud. I'm hoping to hit the scent pocket soon. <laughs> Let me know your experience with this one because it's kind of making me nervous. But what I am smelling is really, really beautiful. So um, do share your experience in the comments down below with this one. Here in the dining room, I have Homeworks Watermelon Margarita from the Backyard Barbecue Collection. I'm actually almost done with this one and I'm filming a review of it right after I'm done filming this video here. And you will see the review of this one go live tomorrow. So there's actually three candle reviews that are gonna be going live tomorrow. So this is one of them. Um, listen, I've really, really enjoyed this one. And if you are at all curious about it, I can tell you, I can give it like multiple thumbs up. So, um, I don't know. Uh, definitely watch my review, but I'm really loving this one. So anyway, let's keep moving. Okay, so we are now in the family room. I typically don't have three candles lit at a time. I try to limit my burning to two candles at a time. Um, I just try to do that to reduce the soot levels in the house and whatnot, but I couldn't resist the, uh, the trio today, so here we are. Anyway, um, this is Kringle Seabreeze, and after lighting this one this morning, I was really trying to resist picking up backups of this one 
because I do still have several other Kringle uh, summer candles that I am trying to work my way through this summer. But I, I, I love this scent so much and the, uh, their BOGO sale is still happening. So I decided to pick up three of the Seabreeze in the two wick format. Ugh, I just can't resist the label. Um, and then I also picked up another Sicilian orange. So those are on their way to me. But yeah, after lighting this one up this morning, I was like, there's no way that I can't not get more of this one. It's, it's just so good, you guys. If you are looking for the perfect, like, salty ocean breeze slash sunscreen with a coconut vibe type of concoction, this is it. It is so good and I honestly cannot say enough good things about it. So, all right, you guys, let's keep going. All right, we are here in my office where I am currently using one of my candle lamps. Um, this is Homeworks Christmas Cupcakes. This is just a basic, delicious, like vanilla buttercream type of fragrance. It's super yummy. Um, but I actually think it's a little bit stronger underneath the lamp than when it's burning. Um, it is technically a holiday scent, but I don't know, with like these vanilla buttercream type scents, I feel like they are great year round. So, um, Anyway, uh, this one is doing fine. I think it's definitely time to pour off that melted layer of wax. Um, I did that about, I think it was like four days ago. And I have had this one on all day. So this has been going on every single morning when I turn on my um, Scentsy warmers. So um, yeah, the, the, each layer of wax is lasting several days of all day warming. So it's fantastic. Anyway, if you are looking for a solution to warming your homeworks candles, no, they do not fit in crops, but they will fit under lamps. Check out the lamps that I have linked in the description box down below. All right, we are currently in my laundry room. It's a little bit of a tight fit in here. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a smaller room, so I don't have room for my tripod in here. Pardon the shaky camera work, but this is the candle crock that lives in my laundry room. Um, I love this one. It essentially fragrances like the whole back of the house a lot of times. So um, this week I ended up putting in the last remaining bits of wax after the candle extinguished itself. <laughs> This is the Nest Wellness Collection Driftwood and Chamomile, and the wick clips um, did their job and extinguished the candle after it was all done, but there was still a nice, healthy chunk of wax in the bottom, so I popped it into the candle crock in here. It's been going 24-7, I would say, for like the last two, three days, I can't remember. Um, I definitely can't really smell anything anymore, so I think it's time to go ahead and turn this off. But because there isn't a ton of wax in here, I am going to lift this out um, and show you guys um, the amount of wax that was left. Um, what is that? What is that? What is this? Do you guys see that black thing? Right? What is what is that? Interesting. Solid. Is that like... What is that? <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Um, this is the wick, like kind of like free floating in there on the other side. But what is that big splotch? Interesting. All right. Um, high five to anyone that can tell me what that is. All right, let's move on. Okay, we are now at the last candle crock that I wanna share, and this is the one that is in the very back bedroom of our house. Um, I have the Kringle Reserve Psychedelic Citrus in here, and it's still cranking out fragrance, you guys. I don't know how much fragrance oil they put in this particular one, but this has been back here now for two weeks, and I'm still smelling it. And this was not a full candle. I actually, um, I burned it to, I would say, is actually right here. Ow, that's hot. Okay, it's hot. <laughs> it, I burned it to down here and then decided, ah, uh, you know, I kind of want to pop some things into Crocs. So I decided to grab that, pop it into the Croc back here. It's It's been on 24-7 for like two weeks now and it's still going strong. 
It's fabulous. I love it. But I, I do think within the next couple days, it'll probably finally peter out. Um, also, just a heads up on an exciting review coming up in the next week or so. I'm finally going to be lighting up my um, little luxury vacation by vacation candle. <laughs> if you're not familiar, um, the vacation um, sunscreen company, they have this perfume called vacation it basically smells like it smells like the 1990s to me um it's a mix of like um chlo pool chlorine lycra sunscreen coconut um like plastic pool toys i know that that sounds like a random hodgepodge but it will seriously take you back to your youth. It is an amazing perfume. I'm not expecting like a miracle from this one wick candle here in terms of performance, but this is gonna be more of like a bedroom type of scent for me anyway. And um, I'm just so excited to finally be able to light this up. Um, I'm telling you, if you're looking for a summertime perfume recommendation and you want to smell like you did maybe like in the 80s or the 90s <laughs> check out oh thanks a lot for coming up here and burping in the background penny Jeez, louise sorry that was penny that did that um yeah if you want to smell like you did when you were a kid check out that perfume it's so good you guys Mwah, perfection anyway let's get back downstairs and um talk about the rest of the home fragrance from this past week all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little tour of what's currently making my house smell like a million bucks on this 90 degree day. It's so hot today, you guys. <laughs> really not a fan of the jump in temperature that we just had here in Oregon. We were in like the 40s and 50s a few days ago, and today it's 90. That's wild. That's a big jump. Anyway, I'm trying to adjust. I think for me, like the biggest adjustment is just the mental adjustment of like going from like 50 degrees to 90 degrees. It's, that's hard for me. Okay, listen, before we get into the candles and the other wax melts from this past week, I wanna give you a brief review of my experience with these Homeworks um, hand washes. These are their new gel hand soaps. Um, honestly, when Homeworks first released these, I didn't pick any of them up. I was just like, Ugh, I don't know. I have been a Bath and Body Works hand wash girl for a very long time. Honestly, that is how I have gotten Stella to become really good about hand washing is buying, you know, like all of like the fun scents. I've always let her pick out um, the hand soap that goes into her bathroom. Um, you know, I just try and make like hand washing fun. <laughs> It's hard with kids, right? Like, especially when they're really little. Stella's 12 now, and she's still really good about washing her hands all the time. Um, but we've always just gotten the Bath and Body Works ones because I, I buy them on sale and when I have a coupon, and they're usually pretty cheap and they're fun, like I said. Um, but I just don't really see the purpose in necessarily branching out from that, which is why I never really picked these up when they were first released. But Homeworks did offer... Um, the ambassadors the chance to pick out a couple of scents so that we could test them out if we haven't tried them yet And I gotta tell you guys I think I might actually like these a little bit better in terms of how Non-drying they are than the Bath and Body Works hand soaps. I will uh, the Bath and Body Works hand soaps I wouldn't say are super drying but during the winter months, you know, when the moisture levels are just kind of zapped from your skin anyway, from like having the heat turned on in the house and you know, the changes in temperature from going in and out, um, that can definitely wreak havoc on your hands. Um, but I gotta say, these are even more non-drying to the hands than the Bath and Body Works foaming hand soaps are. So the foam is usually what I buy from Bath and Body Works. These are like a gel, so you're not getting that fun foam here. So I was able to test out the Sugared Lychee Martini. Uh, Martini, You guys know how I feel about this particular scent. I love it. In, in the candle, I adored this. The hand wash smells exactly the same. It smells exactly like the candle. Um, I also received the Raspberry Coconut Cake. I have that one in the downstairs powder room here. You guys, these are wonderful. Like, I've even gotten compliments from our guests, you know, when they've been here and used the restroom. They're just like, everybody loves that raspberry coconut cake in the bathroom. They're just like, that hand wash smells good. Um, but listen, I'm not saying, you know, like you have to run out and get these, but if you've been wondering about them, 
I really love the two scents that I have. Now, Homeworks does not have the scent selection that Bath & Body Works has, which is, I'm still gonna give it to Bath & Body Works for that for sure, and I'll still be buying those hand soaps. But if there are fragrances coming out that are from some of my favorite like candle scents from Homeworks, I will not hesitate to pick up these uh, when I place orders for candles anyway from Dot Shop. This is a really great hand soap, you guys. I didn't want to love it. I really didn't, but I, gosh, it smells just like the candle. If he comes out with a harvest leaves gel hand soap for the fall, it's over. Like that will be the hand soap that will be throughout the entirety of my house. You guys know how I feel about harvest leaves. I, I need that to be a reality. Harry, if you're listening, please, please, please give me harvest leaves in hand soap. Wouldn't that be amazing? I would be so pleased. <laughs> Let's get it done. Let's get to fall. I'm already over summer. Just kidding, I'm not over summer quite yet, but yeah, it is, it's very warm today. Very warm. All right, let's, let's start talking about what I finished this week. Okay, first off, I finished my beloved, I love this, it is now a beloved, the Kringle Reserve Orange. Uh, this was such a juicy, delicious, amazing, just fresh and juicy orange. I love this one. I had a great performance. Um, by the way, uh, the, the four wick candles, uh, I was chatting with Mick a little bit on Instagram this week and, um, you guys, the, oh, the four wicks, they, they're coming. I, I don't have a date yet. But I saw like, I saw a couple um, pictures that he sent and oh, they're so beautiful. And um, if you like reserve candles, I think you're gonna be excited about, I think you're gonna be excited. Let's just say that. I can't wait. Okay, um, other things that I finished this week. Uh, this is Bath & Body Works Strawberry Daiquiri. I uh, purchased this one uh, about a month and a half ago or something like that and just kind of had it sitting and was craving it for like the last week and a half. So busted this one out. I, I, don't ha uh, I didn't do a re-review of it because I already reviewed the original Strawberry Daiquiri. So you can find that review on my channel. But this is delicious if you're Looking for a really fun strawberry scent from Bath & Body Works, I think this is a great one, definitely worth picking up. I did have to put this one into my candle crock for the last little bit, and then I did pour out the wax because I am currently making a bunch of um, like fire starters for um, the summer for fires out back in our backyard. So um, yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm using a lot more of my candle wax. This candle actually lived the last little bit of its life in a crock as well, but I burned it down to about here, so there really wasn't very much wax in here. But I did get like a solid week and a half out of that little bit of wax, and I leave my candle crocks on 24-7. Um, if you're not familiar with candle crocks, that's why I made that little um, disclaimer at the beginning of the video to check out the description box. I have a candle crock and candle lamp 101 video that you might want to check out if you're not familiar with either of those two candle accessories in terms of how to use them, the, you know, the work that goes into either one of them. I will say, um, I think Crocs are like the easiest in terms of like set it and forget it, if you will. But with lamps, you do have to pour off, you know, the wax because you're melting by layers versus melting the whole thing at once. So um, I finished this strawberry kiwi lemonade candle from, um, man, all of, like almost all of the wax dissipated out of this one. This is a Homeworks uh, candle. I didn't give this one a very positive review, not because the scent sucked. It was actually a great fragrance, but it was really light. Like obnoxiously light and um i probably would not personally recommend run out running out and getting this one even if you're really excited about the fragrance i just think that the strength and throw is so light that even those of you that prefer a lighter fragrance would be like mm, i probably want a little bit more from this one so it was a dud for me, just so, you, just so you're aware. Um, what was not a dud was my beloved uh, blueberry cheesecake, which, oh, you guys, I love it, I love it. I love blueberry cheesecake. There are some people that get a sour note from the, the cheesecake part of this. I don't. Um, 
I just smell blueberry cheesy cakey goodness and not like cheddar cheese, like cream cheese, you know? What you make uh, cheesecake out of. <laughs> okay, one more candle that I finished. Oh, it was so good, you guys. Uh, burn that down to uh, the very last little bit. Bananas Foster from Kringle. Listen, I would highly recommend getting the two wick over the three wick. I had the three wick sent to me in PR. It burned really hot and it turned that like brown sugar note into more of a toffee type note. I did not notice that toffee note in the two wick. So um, if you don't like that really rich, intense, almost caramelly toffee type note, I would say get the two wick. The two wick smells exactly like the actual dessert. If you're a big fan of Bananas Foster, like my husband is, um, that's his favorite dessert to get whenever we go out to like our fancy dinners. Um, if there is Bananas Foster on the menu, this man will order it table side and he just sits there like a little kid and gets excited about the flames and all of it. So um, yeah. If you like Bananas Foster, you gotta check that fragrance out, but I would personally recommend getting it in the two wick from Kringle and not the three wick format. But that's just, that's just a me thing. Okay, other candles I was burning this week. Um, this is currently in my downstairs bathroom. This is Himalayan Salt and Rose Water from Nest. I recently reviewed this, I think it was last week. This is from the Wellness Collection. I know that the Wellness Collection isn't terribly exciting, but I gotta tell you, I've had the best experiences with both the Driftwood and Chamomile and this Himalayan Salt and Rose Water. They're really, really fabulous scents. Very relaxing, very spa-like. Just, if you're looking for relaxing fragrances, check out that Nest Wellness Collection. But stick with the one wicks. I really struggle with the three wicks. I don't know what it is. There are other people who are like, I've never had an issue with a single three wick or like Lux size from Nest. Whereas almost every single, in fact, I think it's been every single three wick. I haven't purchased anything larger than a three wick from Nest. So I, let me just say that. But every three wick that I have tried, um, it has gotten like really dirty and sooty and kind of gross smelling at the halfway point. And for the price point, I don't know. I just expect it to do well at least uh, until, I don't know, if it futzes out when there's like a quarter of the, you know, candle left, then maybe I would be okay with that. But not when it's like the whole second half of the candle turning like just not great. So at any rate. All right, let's talk about some Bath & Body Works candles that I was burning this week because I recently did a Bath & Body Works uh, haul. Um, I will link that video down below if you missed it, but I did a little bit of shopping. And you guys, I have a review of the Cherry Blossom and Soju going up tomorrow. Watch my review. Um, I think that I have found a amazing dupe of one of my favorite personal fragrances and I love that. I'm always looking to either find my personal fragrances that I love in candle format or <laughs> um, you know if I love something in candle format I love to find it in like personal fragrance dupe type situation so um, did I say that right? I'm pretty sure I did. I feel like it's a good brain cell day today. Do you ever have days where your brain is just kind of like foggy? I have a lot of those because I'm 45 and <laughs> going through hormonal changes. And let me tell you, that is, it's not fun some days. Okay, another Bath & Body Works candle that you'll be seeing a review of soon, not tomorrow, but soon, is the Raspberry Rosé. Someone said this is a repackage of the, was it Raspberry Mimosa? That right. Or Raspberry Tangerine. Now I can't even, yeah. Here I was just talking about having a good brain cell day and apparently it's not a good brain cell day. Um, don't quote me on that, but this does smell somewhat familiar, but I, for the life of me, cannot remember which Bath & Body Works scent it was that this reminds me of. So I'll probably review this one as it is. Um, I, I, I personally do not re-review candles that I've already put reviews out of, even if they're repackages and they're like renamed, unless the fragrance is tweaked or unless 
you know, there's like some kind of like vast difference in terms of performance, either for the worse or for the better. I typically don't re-review candles. Um, so, but you can always look up the old reviews here on my channel. And you guys, last weekend I took the time to, I need to do this for more, but I took the time to create different playlists for all of my different candle reviews from the companies that I tend to frequent the most. So I have a playlist for Homeworks, for Kringle, for Bath and Body Works, and for Nest. Um, I don't have one for Veluspa. I don't have one for Candleberry. I don't feel like I have tried enough from those brands to really create like a playlist per se yet, but I do want to try more, especially from Veluspa. So um, yeah, anyway, for what it's worth. Um, oh, start. This one is so good too. <laughs> I'm having some really great luck with this latest Bath and Body Works um, candle haul that I did. There are some amazing scents out right now for summer, including this starfruit. Oh my gosh, I love her. Starfruit Sangria. Um, so this is starfruit, kiwi nectar, and chilled sangria. She's good. She's good. Uh, sorry about that. My battery died. Of course it did. Um, I think I had just finished talking about the starfruit sangria. So um, tomorrow you are going to see a review of Homeworks Grilled Peaches, uh, which is a part of the Backyard Barbecue Collection. Um, you'll also see a review of the Watermelon Margarita tomorrow as well. So if you are curious about those two candles from that collection, they, in full disclosure, they were both sent to me as PR. I did not purchase them. Um, I really like that Watermelon Margarita, but watch my review of the Grilled Peaches if you're thinking about getting it. It's very interesting watch the review. Okay, last homeworks candle that I want to mention is uh, my beloved farm stand strawberry. Um, oh, I absolutely adore this one. I purchased a bunch of these in that um, farm stand trio collection that uh, QVC had for a while there. Um, so that contained the strawberry, the blueberry and the peach. I think the, if I could only have three summertime scents from homeworks, I think for me it would have to be that trio they're fabulous together they're great on their own they're just really delicious they're kind of basic right like they're basic summer scents but they pair so well with a lot of you know other things that i'm usually burning from other companies so um yeah i just i don't know i love me some fruity scents in the summertime that's for sure okay two more candles to mention here um i did light up my beloved jelly donut this week as well as the vanilla rose cone i kind of feel like with the vanilla rose cone now that the weather's really heating up i feel like this is more of a springtime scent for me so I'm trying to decide whether I should put this one away until next spring. I normally don't do that. I hate to put away candles that are burned like to the halfway point. Um, I don't know, when I get out a new candle, like when I finish another one, it's always really nice to get like a fresh, crispy new can crispy. They're not crispy, but you know, like a fresh new crisp candle. Um, and I just get disappointed when I, when I see wicks that were already lit. So should I save this one for next year or should I pop it into a candle crock and use it up? I don't know. I feel like I should use it up. I think I, I'm leaning towards using it up. This, uh, I'm going to be burning this throughout the entire summer. So no need to put this away. Oh, I love me some jelly donut. I love this so much. I, I cannot get enough of it. It's so and we're back. Sorry, had to take a little phone call there. Let us discuss wax melts from this past week. Okay, we have two vendor wax melts here. We have the Sassy Girl Aroma Psychiatric Ward, which was a mix of butter cookies with blackberry and strawberry jam, vanilla bean, Noel donuts, and zucchini. Delicious. This smelled so good, you guys. This was like downright delicious, but Sassy Girl Aroma, like most of my experiences with wax melts from like vendors is it's a it's a one day and done type of deal so um that's okay 
that is what it is uh, I leave my warmers on from about 7 in the morning until about 10 11 at night whenever Craig and I head up to bed um, so my warmers are on all day long um, if you are someone who only warms like for a few hours a day um, like you're gonna get several days out of your vendor wax but someone like me who warms you know that many hours in just one day i'm basically extracting all the fragrance from these melts within the first day so um anyway it's still fun to try right like i i think the the thing that vendor wax really has going for it in my book at least is that it does have a lot more like custom and unique blends and there are a lot of you know vendor companies that will also customize uh, wax for you. I think Kays did that for me. I ordered some custom um, stuff from them and it was kind of fun to try that but again because I am so lazy about changing out my wax I do really appreciate those of you that were telling me about the um, removable um, like so I don't think there's silicone there's some kind of like coated cardboard I guess um, I can't remember how they were explained exactly but I think you can get them on Amazon but they're these little things that you can put in your dishes and um, it allows the wax to just pop out versus like having to you know clean it out of a dish which I don't know I'm just I'm kind of lazy when it comes to that so that's why I like changing my wax every two or three days versus on a daily basis um, anyway, this is uh, L3 Waxy Wonders, and this was a Crazy Nights. This was blackberry jelly fried dough and a hint of campfire smoke. Delicious. Yummy. A little bit lighter, but definitely a really delicious scent. Um, but yeah, one day and done. So um, I have some Scentsy in here as well, so let's go through that. We're going to go in first with my biggest disappointment from Scentsy in a long while, and it's Sun Castles. And not because I, um, I don't love the scent. I do. I think it smells extremely close to the Sol de Janeiro Chirosa 62 scent, which we all probably know better as the Boom Boom Cream scent. It smells almost exactly like it. Such a great dupe. However... This performs for me like vendor wax. It's a one day and done. I don't understand it um, because the other bars that I'm going to tell you about, I was able to go multiple days with. But this one, I ended up taking it out of my club. That is, I'm so disappointed about that because I immediately put this in my club when I first smelled it because I was like, yep, it's a dupe. I need it for all time. But once I melted it, it smells amazing, but it's just one day, and then the following day, I got nothing from the wax. And it's been multiple bars now, so that says to me, this just isn't a fragrance that lasts multiple days. So, But I will say, if you love this particular fragrance, the Sol de Janeiro fragrance, um, this is a very, very close dupe. And as long as you're willing to change out that wax more regularly, then it's worth a try. All right, these two did absolutely fabulously for me. Sugared strawberry. It smells very similar, I would say, to the Farm Stand Strawberry from Homeworks. Delicious, very sweet, almost candied strawberry, but yummy. Um, and then the Candy Orchard here, so good. This is so good. I would liken this to, if I'm comparing it to candy, I would say this is a mix of like a blue and pink um like cotton candy type combo so like that blue raspberry and then that like regular pink cotton candy flavor maybe mixed with a little bit of like a sweet tarts kind of vibe as well really good it smells delightful and um i will definitely be getting more of this so anyway guys um oh i thought someone was coming up my driveway i was like who no I'm not expecting any visitors. Anyway, uh, let me know what you're burning and melting. Also, don't forget to call your mom tomorrow. It's Mother's Day. <laughs> Maybe buy her a candle or something. <laughs> so yeah, um, happy Mother's Day to all the mamas out there. If you guys are interested in more home fragrance uh, content, I will be uploading some candle reviews tomorrow. I have those all scheduled and ready to go. Um, subscribe if you're new. That way those pop up in your subscription feed. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.